Okay, in this video, what we want to do is show how to use the bottling attachment um, to transfer beer from the Vessi and onto bottles. One word before we go there, if you are trying to fill a, um, a large mouth vessel, such as a growler, if the vessel you're trying to fill has a mouth that is wider than this black piece right here, then you can use the attachment to do that under counter pressure. What you would need to do then is simply do it like a lot of brew pubs do in, in filling growlers, is you would have an attachment that goes into your faucet or perhaps in the beverage out um, port in the vessel itself with a length of beer line and an attachment for uh, growler filling and then do it that way. So today what we're going to do is kind of concentrate on how to use this contraption to fill um, to fill various size bottles. The first thing we want to do is attach this securely to the top of the 8 inch opening lid uh, of the Vessi fermenter. And the way we do this, we would start by taking the provided Allen wrench, uh, loosen one of the top or uh, one of the front two screws. In fact, don't just loosen it, just remove it. With that screw removed, the bottom will swing out. And what we can do here now is go in and make sure that the channels that are in the front and the back trap the tri-clamp gasket and squeeze the bottling attachment securely on top of the, of the lid. Once you do that, line up the hole again, reattach the screw, and then once you do that, then make sure that all four corner screws are securely tightened. You don't have to overdo it. Finger tight is good enough. Okay, now the bottler is securely attached. All right, with the, with the bottling attachment securely attached to the lid and tri-clamp of the opening of the Vessi, the next thing you want to do is make sure that the uh, fill knob is in the off position, which is the six o'clock position as you're looking at it. All right, before we use the bottler, it's a good idea to make sure, of course, that the lines, both on the gas side and the liquid side, are clean. The way to do this is um, to use a, a squeeze bottle with a 90 degree elbow bend, first fill with cleaning solution. You would go into this and make sure that this knob is turned into CO2 fill. In this case, we're trying to clean the CO2 line and we would be squeezing that until we see clear liquid coming out of this port right here. Once we're done with that, we're gonna return it to the other side, the beverage fill side, and we're going to repeat the process there. On the liquid side, it's important to know that as you're squeezing, you have that uh, fitting that is spring-loaded, that little valve depressed. So this would allow the, uh, the flow of the cleaning solution to go in. And once again, you're doing it until you're starting to see clear uh, cleaning solution coming out of this little tiny port over on this side. We recommend you do that three times. First time with cleaning solution, the second time with clean tap water to rinse it out. And then a third time, and that's the important one, with sanitizing solution to make sure that all the parts of the bottler are sanitized prior to putting beer into the bottles. The front. And then the next thing is to connect the uh, gas and liquid lines into the uh, ports of the Vessi. So a couple of different ways to tell which line is the gas line and which line is the liquid line. First of all, as you're looking at the Vessi, the gas line is on the left the liquid line is on the right. Uh, the second way you can tell them apart is that the uh, gas line will have this white fitting at the end that is straight, whereas the liquid light filling would have a fitting that is a 90 degree elbow bend. The third and final way you can tell them apart, if, that's all, if all of that is not enough, is that on the liquid line, the fitting has a spring-loaded tip, and you can feel that with your finger whereas on the gas, uh, it does not have that. So, first thing you do is you take the gas fitting on the left, the straight fitting, and go into the CO2 out port from the Vessi. The next thing you do is you take the liquid fitting and go to the other port of the Vessi and push that in. As is the case with both of them, you push them in until you hear a click, and then they're locked into place. Right. Okay, 
So the first thing we want to do is we've placed our sanitized bottle underneath this and we want to make sure that the uh, flow control valve is turned clockwise all the way to the closed position. Once that is done, we're going to turn the, this valve to the CO2 fill position. At this point, gas is uh, coming into the bottle. Uh, to purge air out. What we want to make sure here is if we're hearing any gas coming out from the stopper, we would adjust by pressuring down on this and making sure that the closure around the bottleneck is, is tight. And if that still doesn't work, we would use our adjustable wrench and go here to the spring force adjustment knob and tighten that a bit more. Anyway, if we're not hearing any gas escaping around the stopper, then we know we're okay. The next thing we want to do is open that flow control valve just a little bit so you back up about maybe a quarter turn and you should hear gas escaping out of this. Do that for about five seconds. That means we're purging the air that was inside the bottle with CO2 that is coming in from the valve. And that's it. Once we've done that, then we can go ahead and turn the flow control valve or the, um, this uh, control valve back into the off position and from there to the beverage fill position. And we should see beer coming up, the level of the bottle, and we're watching that level. Once we get to about an inch or two from the top, is I'm gonna turn it back to the stop position. So as you can see, the level of the beer is rising in the bottle, and this is happening under counter pressure, meaning that this is under pressure equal to the beer coming in, and we shouldn't have any foaming issues and we should have a nicely carbonated beer in the bottle. Okay, now that I've done that, I am going to remove the bottle and take it over to cap it and repeat the process with the next bottle and so on.